Lunatics, welcome back to the channel. We are in the bait laboratory, so that means we're making tackle. Today we're going to be making football swing jigs with our dual molds. I'm going to be pairing those up with 4 aught owner J hooks. These hooks are super sharp, and I think they're going to pair up perfectly with these football swing jigs. And I'm going to show you all the different components. I'm going to show you how to make them, and we're going to do it right now. So here are the components that you need in order to make these football jigs. This is the football swing jig mold by do it molds then we have our owner four aught j hooks and then come over here and we have our wji 600 wire form those wire forms are where we're going to enable you to connect your hook to the head of this football jig and it's also going to act as the line tie so the stuff that we're going to be using in today's video is all going to be in the description as a product list and then i highly encourage you to please use the do it molds affiliate link that's also going to be in the description of today's video that affiliate link lets dual molds know that i sent you there based on the content that i put out so please use that affiliate link i really really would appreciate that and let's get back to this video let's get back to making these baits so one of the first things that you guys need to do when making these football swing jigs is grab your uh, wire form right here and your hook and you're going to slide the hook on to that wire form and then you're going to set everything into the mold and this is going to be the half ounce size right here and then as you can see when I let go of this it's going to kind of fall off a little bit like that so what I like to do to combat that is grab another mold and use the flat side as you can see I kind of got it backwards and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in there and I'm going to let that hook rest on that other mold and it gives me the ability to come over here clamp down and then everything's going to be nice and flush then we're going to go over to the lead pot and make up this jig So one of the first things that you guys need to do when making these football swing jigs is grab your uh, wire form right here and your hook and you're going to slide the hook on to that wire form and then you're going to set everything into the mold and this is going to be the half ounce size right here and then as you can see when I let go of this it's going to kind of fall off a little bit like that. So what I like to do to combat that is grab another mold and use the flat side, as you can see, I kind of got it backwards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in there and I'm going to let that hook rest on that other mold. And it gives me the ability to come over here, clamp down, and then everything's going to be nice and flush. Then we're going to go over to the lead pot and make up this jig. Now we're over to lead pot, so we're going to put our mold underneath our pot, lift up on our level right here, and then let go of it. And then we should have a good football jig inside of that mold right now. So now we're at the point where we're gonna check out our completed jig. So we're gonna open it up, take a look at everything. And as you can see, this thing turned out really, really good. All we gotta do is cut off that sprue and we're basically ready to go fish. We could add paint if we want to, but we could fish that thing just as it is and probably catch some fish. Okay, so in the last pour, I messed up and said the wrong size. So the last pour, I made this one right here, which is the three quarter ounce. And in this one, we're gonna make the half ounce and the three quarter ounce. So we're gonna close up this mold now. And you gotta be careful when you close up these molds because it can make it so, kind of difficult sometimes if everything gets out of place, but we're good this time. So we're gonna come over to the lead pot, make sure we got a good flow, which is good enough. Make our half ounce right here. Come over to three quarter, get that three quarter going. And then we'll check these things out here in a second. All right, so we're gonna check out our football swing jigs. We got our half ounce right here three quarter ounce right here, they both filled in really well. So we're gonna set these aside and I will be making a couple more of these off camera and then we'll paint them up. Okay, so I got 10 total football swing jigs right here. We got five and three quarter, we got five and a half ounce. And then what you need to do now is you need to take a pair of shears like this and cut those sprues off. So that way you have that nice smooth side right there on the back of it. And one of the things I really like about these um, shapes of the football head is that it has that flat side when you with that flat side you feel everything that you're coming over all the rocks everything down the bottom um, I like to fish these a little bit faster so having something that really makes it easy to feel down the bottom is a plus so that's just something to think about um, it's just one of the things that I've noticed that I really like about these ones in particular so I'm gonna finish cutting these sprues off the three quarters and then we will paint these up 
So real quick before we paint these up, one thing that you can do is take a file just to smooth out the flat side of these a little bit because that's where your sprue is. And I like to do that sometimes. I think it's it's personal preference, but you know I like mine to be as clean and finished as possible. So I take that extra second to file these down. And lead's super soft, so that's why I'm going back and forth. The file, I know, technically speaking, they only work in one direction, but the lead's so soft that when you're using a file like this, going back and forth is still effective. Here's our painting setup. We got the heat gun right here to heat up the heads of these jigs to then put into the powder paint, which is in a fluid bed. You can also get fluid beds on the Do It Molds website. I didn't know that till recently, but check it out. Just search fluid bed on their website. Make sure to go to the Do It Molds website with my affiliate link. So when it comes to painting these swing head football jigs, you need to make sure you grab the hook and the wire form all at the same time because you don't want that hook to fall into the paint when you are trying to paint this head. So I'm gonna turn on the heat gun, put it over that heat, just go back and forth. Make sure one side doesn't get too hot. Don't overheat the head, don't underheat it. It will take a little bit of getting used to if you're not used to doing this, but once you do it a few times, it's, it's not that difficult, but you might end up underheating it, overheating, it just kind of depends. You'll have to just kind of learn it yourself, but that 20 to 30 second rule of thumb is pretty good. But there you go, nice and uh, painted up. So we're back with another one of these three quarter ounce. I'll do one more on camera and then I'll finish up everything else and then I'll show you what I do to bake these. You wanna bake them so that way everything, all the paint gets really, really hard and much more durable. Should be good. Come over to our mold, dip it in there. And there we have it, nice and painted. So there's all of our swing heads up on the dowel to hang dry. And uh, now it's time to go paint them. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Okay, so something you need to pay attention to with these swing football heads is the hinge where the hook and the wire form come together are in con are, and are connected. When you paint these, you need to check every single one to make sure there's no paint in that hook eye, there's no paint on the wire form. Otherwise, it might paint and be fused together in the baking process. So you're gonna wanna clean that out. So what I mean by cleaning it out is I just take the hook and I just kinda rotate it around on the wire form, slide it up, slide it down, go back and forth, just making sure that there's no paint left in there. So that way when I go to bake these, the paint doesn't bake my hook to the wire form. I'm getting all that paint out of there so everything's gonna be nice and and movable and everything can rotate like it's supposed to when it's in the water. Now we're at the part where we're gonna bake these. So what I like to do is just set them in here on the grate and just let them hang there straight down as so. I like to go every other one so that way they don't touch each other while they're baking. But it's a pretty simple process. You just drop them in there like so and then you're gonna set your timer to 350 degrees or set your temperature to 350 degrees and then you're gonna to wanna to bake them for about 20 minutes. So now we got all 10 in there, so I'm gonna close this up, go over to my timer, which is at 20 minutes, let, it, let them bake in there for 20 minutes and then what I like to do is bake them actually twice because when you do it twice, I think it gets that paint even more hard, even more durable. This style of a jig is super versatile. I think it's a great search bait, I think it's a great tournament practice bait and I also think it can just catch a lot of fish for you. You can cover a lot of water. You can cast this thing out real, real slow, bang it off the rocks, bang it off the brush, stuff like that. That hook's gonna allow you to rig that plastic on weedless and you're just gonna be able to cover a lot of water and probably catch a lot of fish. So go get yourself the football swing jig mold from Do It Molds. Use my affiliate link in the description of today's video and make sure to check out that product list so that way you know you're getting everything you need to make these yourself and I will see you guys next time. See ya.